What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have sort of a weird video for you guys. I was sitting there yesterday. I was just chilling around just, you know, having a having a diet doozy. You know, we can't waste calories. We want to eat our calories, guys. We don't want to drink them even though, you know, no soda is better than any soda. You know, we drink some water too. You know, you got to get your water in. But I was sitting around drinking a diet doozy, just chilling, and it hit my mind. I was just chilling there, and I said, you know what? What is everybody's record in MDT history? Who has the most wins in MDT history? Who has the best winning percentage? Who has the worst winning percentage? All this good jazz was running through my brain. So I ran through every single episode of Vindication, MDT Live, and Pay-Per-View that we have done in our history. And I have compiled every single record of every single matchup in the history and uh, I have a list of competitors here and I don't know if I should just one by one show the superstar and talk about their record or if I should just run through the list I really don't know how to do this but um because I feel like if I scoot each one up and talk about it it may take forever but you know what guys we're gonna do that we're gonna run through it just like that I'm gonna pull the superstar up I'm gonna run through their record and just talk about it for just a split second we do have a lot of guys to get through but let's just do it that way I think it'll be the easiest so let's go ahead and get started so coming in at the top of the list guys the top of the list the guy with the most wins in MDT history. You'll probably be surprised by this, but with a record of 6-5 and five in his career is The Miz. Yes, The Miz has the most wins in MDT history. I literally cannot believe this, but I guess when he was in that Bullet Club initiation tour, just running through different superstars, adding up his wins, ever since he lost the Revolutionary Championship, though, he did go downhill. I feel like he was like 6-2 and two at one point, but after loss, after loss, after loss, he lost a string of momentum, lost his Royal Rumble qualifier to Cesaro, and The Miz is on an L streak. So he he does have the most wins, but he has lost a few in a row with six and five. Coming in with five wins, guys. Five and two record. The current MDT Ironman champion is Cody Rhodes. He is five and two. He is the only superstar in all of MDT with five wins. So that is uh, that is very crazy, to be honest with you. Five and two is pretty absurd. He's ran through Samoa Joe, Trash Corbin. He's beaten Drew McIntyre before, I think. He, he beat Rusev at the Royal Rumble and claimed his Ironman championship. One of the true champions in MDT, guys. He's got the five and two record. He's held up his end, and he, he's been balling on vindication. So Cody Rhodes is five and two. Coming up next, guys, we have four competitors who have four wins apiece, and these are the only four guys that have four wins. They are each four and two, if you can believe that. So let's run through it real quick. Randy Orton, his only losses, he's only been pinned one time by Edge, the MDT Championship match at Blackout. He did lose that matchup, but he has four wins overall. He did lose money in the bank as well. Dolph Ziggler has a loss in an MDT Championship match to John Cena. It sold out, and he lost the money in the bank as well, but both of these guys sort of have similar careers so far in in, in MDT. The MDT champion Roman Reigns is 4-2. and two. Roman Reigns has actually never been pinned in like a one-on-one -on -one matchup. His first loss ever was on MDT Live Episode 1 in the Fatal 4-Way Ladder Match for the MDT Championship. He lost that matchup, so he wasn't pinned. And then his second time that he lost technically wasn't even a loss, guys. He's actually 4-1 and one because the second loss was when he laid down to give the Usos the World, Ta the World Tag Team Championships. So if you look at it that way, the man literally has never been pinned. He's never lost, to be honest with you. I mean, he did lose the ladder match but he wasn't pinned, and then he laid down for the Usos. So Roman Reigns, the MDT champion, is one of the strongest competitors right now in MDT. And then our last competitor is Mr. Money in the Bank, or is he still Mr. Money in the Bank? I guess we'll have to find out soon, guys, because he hasn't been seen around. He got ran over by a truck. We're still trying to find out who hit RVD, but he has a 4-2 record. He did get attacked from behind when he was the extreme champion to Rhino, and that, is, that was his first L on MDT Live Episode 1. And then he was pinned at Money in the Bank mid-match by Bobby Lashley when he had already been beat to hell. You know, Bobby Lashley just came out to an unconscious RVD and pinned him. So, being the extreme champion, you know, you're going to take some L's. You know, you're running around 24-7 with the championship. So, you could easily be attacked at any moment. So, all four of these guys are 4-2 and two in their careers in MDT. Next up, guys, we have the MDT Elite Champion, Kenny Omega, undefeated in his career. He is a 3-0 and competitor. He won his first. He, all three of them are championship matches. He never had to do anything. He turned on Finn Balor with the Elite, with the Bullet Club, defeated. Finn Balor at Blackout due to their help. Then he defended the championship at Money in the Bank, defeated Cesaro. He defeated Braun Strowman as well. And he is going into MDT Hell's Gate. And he is going to have to defend that MDT Elite Championship inside the Elimination Chamber. So will he remain undefeated? We will have to see. But the Elite Champion stands undefeated at 3-0 and probably one of the strongest competitors in all of MDT. 
Next up, guys, we have a string of three and one competitors. These are people that have three wins and one loss. Starting off with Adam Cole, guys. He was he started his career 3-0. He won the Bullet Club Money in the Bank ladder match at Money in the Bank for his first victory ever. Then he went on a string of wins. He beat the Miz for the Re to, to qualify to win the Revolutionary Championship. Then He then won the Revolutionary Championship, and then he lost in a Revolutionary Championship match to Marty Skrull. So he is 3-1. and one. I'm not going to count the Royal Rumble, uh, just for you guys to know. Uh, anybody that participated in the Royal Rumble... I don't count that as a loss. I just think that's ridiculous to count that as a loss. Even though I count the six-man ladder matches, uh, that's six-man, not 30. So that's just a that's just a thing there. Next up, we have the Young Bucks guys. They are also three and one. I have it written down that they're three and one, but I can't even remember where their loss came from. To be honest with you, I know they beat American Alpha. They beat the Revival in the oh yeah, they defeated the Revival. It sold out. They beat the Revival again on Vindication in a tables match, and then they beat American Alpha in a number one contenders match on Vindication. For John Cena, guys, you guys know he. He won the MDT Championship in his first matchup. He was 1-0. And then he defended that same championship against Edge the next night on MDT Live and was successful in that. He then defeated Dolph Ziggler at Sold Out to retain his championship. And then just recently in the Triple Threat match with Roman Reigns and CM Punk, he did lose that matchup. He was not pinned, though. He's never been pinned, but he did lose in that Triple Threat match. And he is 3-1 in his career. So those four more top contenders in MDT. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Royal Rumble winner, Seth freaking Rollins. Seth Rollins has a record of 4-3 and three in MDT history. He has uh, he has four wins, but he has three L's. And the three losses, one of the losses was to Chris Jericho in the Royal Rumble qualifier. He lost to Randy Orton on the first episode ever of MDT Live in a number one contendership for the MDT Championship. And then he lost to Dean Ambrose at Sold Out to uh, thanks to Roman Reigns' interference. But he does have four dubs. He's been an MDT World Tag Team Champion before. And he won the first ever Royal Rumble. So Seth Rollins has a solid record. You know, 4-3 and three is not the best in the world, but it is one of the top and he won the Royal Rumble. So you can't fault Seth Rollins. Next up, guys, we have three more great superstars that MDT Live has to offer, and all three of them are sitting at 3-2 and two overall. Edge is the first ever MDT champion. He was 1-0 and oh after winning that MDT championship ladder match on the first ever MDT Live episode. He was starting off great. He then defended the championship against Randy Orton, and he defeated Heath Slater in a handicap match. His L's come from John Cena twice. That's his only L's, and those are two pretty strong L's considering John Cena's never been pinned, so Edge has had a great career so far in MDT. We also have the extreme champion Kevin Owens. Owens, who is sitting at 3-2. and two. He started off in his career 1-0 and oh when he defeated The Miz and Hurricane in the tag team match with El Generico, but then, of course, he did lose to The Miz thanks to Hurricane Interference that sold out, and I think he lost in some other tag team matchup or something like that, but he has, uh, since then, ever since he came over to MDT Live, he's been on a tear, and he's been looking great with the Extreme Championship. Hopefully, that will continue for him. You know, he's always got to have his head on a swivel. And then we have Jeff Hardy, who has had a pretty solid career. He debuted right after Blackout. He's defeated right back He's, he's participated in the first ever Money in the Bank and Royal Rumble matchups. He's defeated AJ Styles. He's defeated some really good competitors in MDT. So Jeff Hardy has had a solid career thus far. But there is three more competitors. Next up, guys, we have the only gentleman that is 2-1 in his MDT career, and that is Chris Jericho. I don't think there is a single man on the list that has a 2-1 record. Looking at it right here, I don't think anybody else is 2-1. He defeated Seth Rollins to qualify for the Royal Rumble, as well as Heath Slater, and in the number one contender MDT Championship tournament, he did lose to Dolph Ziggler after a pretty good matchup there on MDT Live. So Chris Jericho is the only one sitting with 2-1. Next up, guys, we have three guys that are 1-1 one one in their career. We have Sami Zayn, Rhino, and Jack Swagger. I remember this paint has been on his face for a year, and I'm actually, after this video is done, I have my acetone ready. I'm going to acetone that off because I literally said I'd get that off over a year ago, and it's still there. It may, be in, it may almost be two years. But anyways, Sami Zayn, he was the first ever Revolutionary Champion, if you guys can remember that. He was the first ever Revolutionary Champion, and he defeated The Miz and then lost to The Miz, and then he disappeared forever. Came back at the Royal Rumble in a surprise entry at number five. So that is the last time we saw Sami Zayn. And then Rhino, he defeated RVD for the Extreme Championship, attacking him from behind. And then RVD came back the next week on MDT Live and defeated him. He hasn't been seen since MDT Live episode number two. And then Jack Swagger lost to RVD in a Money in the Bank qualifier on episode four of MDT Live. And then came back and started attacking Shelton Benjamin and ultimately won the MDT United States Championship at the MDT Royal Rumble. So all three of these men are one and one. 
Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have a slew of competitors that are 1-0 in their career, if you can believe it. We have Kurt Hawkins, Marty Skrull, El Generico, The Fashion Police, The Usos, and Harper and Rowan. You guys know that Kurt Hawkins, his only victory is in a roll-up fluke over Trash Corbin to qualify for the Royal Rumble. That wouldn't get him anywhere, as you guys know, but Kurt Hawkins is undefeated in his career thus far. Marty Skrull did have one matchup so far with Adam Cole for the Revolutionary Championship, and he won it, and he looked great in that affair, so I'm excited to see where Marty Skrull goes from here in his vindication career. El Generico, he defeated The Miz and Hurricane in a tag team matchup with Kevin Owens, so he's 1-0 thus far. He also had a really good showing in the MDT Royal Rumble. Then we have the Fashion Police. They debuted on this past episode of Vindication, getting a win over American Alpha, and they will go on to face some other guys who are 1-0 that we're about to talk about, but first we have the MDT World Tag Team Champion Usos, who defeated Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose after Roman Reigns just laid down, and they won the championships after they made that bet with Bischoff, and now they are at the top after a dumb bet accepted by Bischoff. And uh, they're only 1-0, but they will have to defend these tag titles at Hell's Gate. And it'll be interesting to see if they can retain and be 2-0. And then our last 1-0 competitors in MDT history are Harper and Rowan. And they just recently beat the hell out of Rusev Day. Aiden English and Rusev on Vindication Episode 13. If you guys miss MDT Vindication Episode number 13, definitely go check it out. And uh, they, they will be taking on the Fashion Police on Episode 14 of Vindication. So it'll be cool cool to see who goes on to fight the Young Bucks at MDT Hell's Gate. Will it be Harper and Rowan or the Fashion Police? You know, they the Fashion Police were on the Wyatt Colts tail for a while, you know, trying to figure out who the masked man was, you know, trying to figure out what the hell they were doing. And so this is going to be really cool to see these two teams go head to head on the next vindication. But all of these men that I just mentioned are 1-0 in their career. All right, guys, so checking out the rest of the roster here, it's going to take me a minute to run through all of these, and we've already went a while here, so I'm going to go ahead and just run off some of, some of the notable names and just run through the rest of them just in case you guys are wondering whose record is what. We do have a bunch of uh, crazy stats in here, and I do want to reveal who the worst is, and uh, I bet you guys can probably guess who it is, but we'll get into that. But running through it real quick, guys, Braun Strowman is 2-2 two two in his career. He did disappear after MDT sold out. You know, uh, a gloved hand pulled him under the ring. It sold out. We haven't seen him since, so we know we don't know where the hell that man is, but who the hell knows maybe one day he'll show up Dean Ambrose is three and four in his career he does have three wins but ultimately four L's you guys know that he ultimately was kicked out of the shield and we had the shield implosion after he kept losing so I guess those four L's just was too much for the shield and they imploded Christian is two and three Shelton Benjamin is two and four Rusev is two and four AJ Styles is two and four guys if you could believe that uh most of that probably has to do with CM Punk these guys have been going at it you know since the beginning of MDT just going at it he lost the ladder match he lost to Jeff Hardy due to CM Punk interference. He lost a Battle Royal due to CM Punk. He lost to CM Punk at sold out. And the man has just been on a string of L's and it has to do a lot with CM Punk. CM Punk himself is 1-2 and two in his career. The only victory he has is over AJ Styles actually. Neville is 1-2. and two. Drew McIntyre is 1-2. and two. Bobby Lashley is 1-2. and two. Cesaro is 1-2. and two. John Morrison is 1-3. and three. Samoa Joe is 1-3. and three. The Revival together are 1-2. and 1-2 and two a piece as well because they've always been in tag team matchups. The rest of the people I'm about to name guys have never won a matchup in MDT. They have zero wins in their career. No way Jose is 0-1, Sandman is 0-1, Apollo Cruz is 0-1, Enzo Amore is 0-1, Hurricane is 0-1, Kane is 0-1, Elias is 0-1, Shinsuke Nakamura is 0-1, but he just returned at the Rumble, and I'm very excited to have Shinsuke back. His only loss is on Vindication Episode 1. He lost in the Fatal 4-Way, and then he was injured, so he's been out ever since. He never had a chance to get his retribution, so Shinsuke Nakamura is back. Victor and Connor are 0-1. They lost to the Revival together as the Ascension. Ty Dillinger is 0-2, Goldust is 0-2, Heath Slater is 0-2, The New Day are 0-2, Ryback is 0-2, Aiden English is 0-1, American Alpha are 0-2, and the worst record in MDT history, zero wins, four losses, zero and four in his career is Trash Corbin. And I don't know why this man has never won, you know? I mean, I just can't understand why. I mean, I guess the man, the freaking, I mean, the way they book him, man, they, they just hold him down and they don't let him see his full potential. I just don't get it, man. I mean, Trash Corbin is just so talented and he just can't ever get a win. Why can't he get a win? He lost to Kurt Hawkins. He's lost to Cody Rhodes. He lost to Samoa Joe and he lost in like a triple threat match. So this man just cannot buy a win. And you know what? Will he ever win? We'll have to see, guys. Who, who knows what will happen with Trash Corbin in the future, but he's 0-4 in his career and I guess we'll have to see if he ever can get a dub. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, I, I always enjoy like stats and I'm a, I'm a stat freak. I love stats and championship victories and 
looking at the analytics and everything. Uh, real quick, before the end of the video, you want me to run through all the champions real quick. Uh, elite champion, we've only had two ever, Finn Balor and Kenny Omega. Revolutionary champion, Sami Zayn, The Miz, Adam Cole, Marty Skrull. Iron Man champion, Braun Strowman, Drew McIntyre, Rusev, Cody Rhodes. MDT tag team champions, The Revival and The Young Bucks. MDT champion, Edge, John Cena, Roman Reigns. Extreme champion, RVD, Rhino, RVD, Bobby Lashley, John Morrison, Kevin Owens. United States champion, Shelton Benjamin, Dean Ambrose, Shelton Benjamin, Jack Swagger. MDT world tag team champions, New Day. The Shield, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. And then The Shield, Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. But Roman Reigns is only a one-time champion, not two-time champion. And then The Usos. So the the only two-time champions we've ever had in MDT is Shelton Benjamin is a two-time United States champion and RVD is a two-time extreme champion. Besides that, everybody is a one-time champion and Dean Ambrose is the only person to ever hold two different championships in MDT history. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, I'm a big stat freak. I love running through stats and wins and losses and analyzing it and who's done the best, who's done the worst. I've always just loved that as a kid. I used to know uh, yardage and points and assists and, and just just wins overall and home runs and RBIs, hits, all that stuff from baseball, basketball, football, all of it just wrapped into one. I used to love analyzing sports. I still love it to this day, and uh, I keep up with it in wrestling as well. It's just really fun. I don't know why I've always loved stats. I hate math, but I love stats and, and stuff like that. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. What do you think about that? What do you, I mean, what do you think about the stats? I would love to know your thoughts on the numbers that we have here. I mean, do you think some of these champions are justified? Do you think some of these guys have been booked pretty well? I mean, who's your favorite superstar in MDT? Let me know down in the comment section below. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.